Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using Facebook Live for your mobile phone. Um, you will see that my phone is looking rather wonky at the moment, it's 90 degrees out. Please don't uh, tilt your laptop or computer or your phone to adjust this. Um, my phone is just in portrait mode for now, um, but the rest of the video is going to be done pretty much in landscape, so it will write itself very shortly. Um, so. The, there are two things I would recommend that you look at before uh, watching this video in full. Uh, the first one is the So You Want to Start Using Social Media Booklet, which is located on the Synod website, www.urcyorkshire.org.uk. Um, because in this video we're looking at using a Facebook Live video from a Facebook page. So if your organisation or your church doesn't have a Facebook page at the moment, please uh, have a look at that booklet which takes you through the basics of setting one up. Um, I would also recommend reading it anyway as there are some extra tips in there as to how to make your social media presence more vibrant and more exciting. Um, the second thing I would recommend you watch is using Facebook Live for a computer. Even if you're not intending on using it for a computer, and that video does actually recommend using it on a smartphone, um, it does uh, expand a little bit more on why we should use Facebook, why we could use Facebook Live, and a few other hints and tips as well. But we're going to look just today at the very uh, basic technicalities of how to use Facebook Live for our smartphone. It goes without saying that you should have a smartphone that's connected to the internet um, and also have downloaded the Facebook app as well. So I'm going to visit the Facebook app now and I'm going to tilt my phone landscape here so now you've got a better view. Um, I wouldn't normally recommend using get most apps uh, in landscape because as you can see the, it doesn't actually show you that much information at once which isn't very useful um, but hey this is just because uh, the camera should really be in landscape and I'll explain why very shortly um, but as you can see I'm on my Facebook page uh, Any Town United Reform Church which is the church page that I set up in the tutorial uh, booklet on the Synod website so again you can follow that um, and the main thing I want to look at today is clicking post here on the left hand side so if I click post Facebook's going to switch to portrait in a minute just because that's how it likes to display its post um, but you want to click the go live option uh, which is the fourth option down so I'm going to click go live and I'm back on landscape now, which is good. Um, so why do we want a landscape picture? Well, we if we had it in portrait, and I won't turn it portrait because you won't be able to see properly, um, but if we had it in portrait, all you're really going to see is somebody's face, um, and you're not going to see much around them. Whereas if we're on landscape, and particularly if I hold it uh, further out like this, I've got space above my head and below my head and left and right, and it just makes for a much nicer image. So I'm going to I'm going to do it like that. But that's if we're on my face as well. Um, this is using the front-facing camera as it's facing me. Um, most smartphones will have a front-facing camera and a rear-facing camera. And to switch between these, which you can do during a Facebook Live video, um, we're pressing this button up here in the top left-hand corner, uh, which will switch the video. So you can, um, you can change it, um, and perhaps you might want to use the rear-facing camera uh, for a, a focal point, perhaps, like this uh, fascinating-looking uh, coaster. Um, but seriously, you can use it um, for perhaps a focal point like a candle or a cross. Um, and it's worth noting that during Facebook Live videos, you can switch between the two cameras anyway. So you can switch between your face and your focal point. Uh, and because we're on a mobile phone, we can move around. We can do loads of different things. So just have a play about Have an experiment. Um, you have the option now to add a description, uh, which is here in the bottom left-hand corner. So... Well, actually, it's not an option, it's compulsory. You need to add something. I'm just going to put church just uh, for time purposes. Um, but as has been discussed in other videos, uh, you want to make your post vibrant and exciting and appealing to your audience. So think about uh, how you might do that. Um, church with a full stop is certainly not the answer to that. Um, but 
just keeping it short for now. You also have uh, the location button, which is just below church there. Um, you can tap that and put in your location. At the time of recording of this video, we're in the COVID-19 pandemic, so obviously Facebook Live is mainly being done by, from people's homes. Please don't put your home location on here. Um, Facebook Live allows you to select any location, even if you're not at that location. So tap the location button, search for your church, and put that in instead. There's also the emotions button. Again, just adding some personality to your page. You don't want to be seen as a robot. So um, you can press the emotions button, and look at that. We've got we Facebook has even given us the blessed emotion. So we can put that on. What a brilliant emotion to have. For our church service so as you can see at the top there any town united reformed church is feeling blessed when we're done with all of that we can press done in the top right hand corner and then when we're ready to go live we can simply click this blue button up here i'm not going to do that now because i'm currently recording uh, the sound coming out of these headphones here and as soon as i go live facebook live is going to want that sound so it's going to take it off the screen recording so i'll be talking but you won't be able to hear me but basically what we can do is press the live button and then you'll see that we can go live and I am going to press it in a minute but I'm just going to point out the features as well. Um, we have a comments section which is uh, marked by speech bubble and it's going to be about here and you can tap that to write a comment yourself as any town united reform church um, and you can you will also see comments pop up just above that. Um, so there's a shaded bar around about here and then above that there'll be some comments as people uh, make comments and I would encourage you to encourage people to make comments to make it an interactive video you don't just want people to be sat there passively uh, taking in the video you want them to be active so encourage people to use uh, the comments section to interact and of course you can comment back um, and interact with your audience um, you do have the option to switch your camera during the Facebook Live video as well, and that option will also be located about here near the comments button, um, so you can switch your camera during the video as well. When you're all done, you can click the finish button, which will be in this bottom right hand corner here, and then you will have three options after you click finish, um, and you can, well, do two of them anyway. There is the save button down here. Um, and so you can save the video to your phone. Um, there's also the share button, which is in the bottom right hand corner. That's the blue one. And usually the blue on Facebook means something good. And we do want to share our video. So that will mean it will stay on our Facebook page uh, forever. Uh, we do have the option to delete it, of course, but it will stay on there for as long as we want it to be on there uh, for people to watch back um, either again or for people to watch for the first time if they missed the live broadcast. So I'm just going to go through the motions of doing that, but obviously you won't be able to hear me whilst the live video is ongoing, but I will uh, point out all of those features that I've just mentioned. So now my video has been shared and that is the end of this tutorial.